welcome back to the garden today. It's been a very long time you guys have been in the garden with me. And for some of you guys, if it's your first time, my husband and I live off grid in a log cabin that we built from the forest. And we have been living off grid going on 12 years right now. We live off 100% off rainwater. I cook on a wood burning cook stove. So welcome if it's your first time. It's a happy day here in the garden. I love coming to the garden, but it's also kind of a somber day because tonight and the next few nights we're gonna have some good frost. It's gonna get down in the 20s and so I'm kind of sad. So I'm coming for my last look at all my beautiful greenery and I want to get my sweet potatoes out. So I wanted to bring you along because I'm looking forward. It's always like a present. You're gonna open a present and see what's inside to see what I got for my sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna look around here and say goodbye to a lot of these plants. I'm so sad. <laughs> Oh, this is my Thai basil. It smells so wonderful. I love it. So they're going to be probably going tonight. So it's a sad day. And the peppers don't like it either. So I've already harvested quite a few, but I'm going to go ahead and be pulling a lot of these a little later today, I think. And the flowers. I love marigolds. A lot of you guys know that. I use these. I cut these and I put them in my salads almost every day. I really love them so much. So. It is really hard. <laughs> it's like I'm losing a good friend. This is the, the Red Tornado coxcomb, and they are so beautiful in flower arrangements. I love to put them all throughout summer with the zinnias. They look gorgeous. Enough of that. You guys ready? Let's go dig some potatoes. Ready, Molly? Molly's ready. Look at her go. She's already got birds in her face. You ready, Molly? Let's go dig some potatoes. Come on. So every year I dig for sweet potatoes, Molly is in the bed trying to dig them up because lo and behold, there's mice that are going down there. They know winter's coming too, so they know in a nice warm place, she's a little more trouble. <laughs> As you can see, it's getting a little weedy in here. If you notice, some of them, they're not quite as pretty as they used to be. You know pretty much when they're ready to go, when the vines start to turn yellow, or you're going to get a frost and we're getting a frost and they're kind of yellow so it's time for me to get them out. Quite a few months ago, early in spring, I had done a video about how to start sweet potatoes from the slips. What you do is you're gonna use the sweet potato and then you'll put them in water like you did when you were a kid. You put the toothpicks and put it in water and then they'll start growing little slips from it and that's the plant you're gonna to use to plant and grow. So if you wanna learn how to do that, you can check out my video. I talked all about how to do it right there. Check out that video. It's the easiest way because each one of those potatoes, you're gonna get five, 10, 15. You can get a lot of slips from one of the potatoes. You want to know when do you plant sweet potatoes? You use the slip and you want to plant sweet potatoes when it's warm. Regular potatoes, like white potatoes, like it when it's cooler to plant, but not sweet potatoes. They like the warm weather. They like to be planted when your temperature of the ground is about 65 degrees. Here we're in zone six or so. May is a good time to plant sweet potatoes. And when you plant them in, here's one of the plants right here. You want to plant them about a foot apart and then you're gonna wait anywhere, and it depends on the variety of potato, between, you know, 95, 135 days. It just kind of depends in there when they'll be ready. And actually, it's been longer for me. They're gonna be fine in the ground. Um, and so, fine to leave them just as long as you don't have a frost. Because when you have a frost, that's gonna affect the tuber itself, the quality of it, and also they will not store long. I have a, quite a few different varieties here, and I think this patch here are my purple Molokai sweet potatoes, which I love. I'll show you one. Isn't it gorgeous? When they're washed off, it is the inside is more purple than this. I mean, it's bright purple. It looks like a fake purple. And that's where you're gonna get all the health benefits because it has those wonderful anthocyanins. It's like a super antioxidant. Here, I'll show you, come closer. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful, and it keeps the color when you cook with it. Kind of reminds me of a taste between a regular potato and a really sweet potato. So these are wonderful to bake. I love to bake these and put some butter or ghee on them and they're just, oh, I love them. I like these because they're easy, easy keepers. Just at the beginning, when you first put your slips in, they have to get a lot of water. They like a lot of water at the beginning so they can get started. Once they get the water at the beginning, you can just leave them alone and they'll do great. And these vines are going to go crazy. Here's one little fact, guys. People don't realize sweet potato vines are so healthy for you. They have like the whole alphabet. I mean, they have vitamin A, vitamin B, 
vitamin C, there's potassium, there's calcium, there's magnesium. I mean, this is just, it's wonderful. They're so good for you. You can saute them up, put them with some butter and eat them with a meal. They're so nutrient dense. It's a very hearty plant. A lot of greens, like your kales and things, they'll get be eaten by the bugs, get holes in them. These things, nothing's gonna do anything to them. They really look good all the time. You don't have to worry about watering them or anything. You get tons of greens that'll last all throughout the season. That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. It's really important that you don't get too anxious and pull really hard because you'll break them. So make sure you get down good enough. See how they came out whole? You go ahead and use a shovel or a um, pitchfork you always poke them, you break them, and I just much rather get my fingernails dirty, my hands dirty, and then that way I'm in the dirt. It's so healing. You hear about earthing, you're being barefoot on the ground, getting that connectivity to the earth and how it helps to heal the body. Same thing with your hands. I'm getting connected to the earth, getting healthy at the same time, growing my own food. I think this year was a good year for them. It's like a little happy family here. They're all huddled up together. Look at them all. One big happy Molokai purple sweet potato family. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that one. Yeah, I like these because they're, they're always together. And then they're pointed like down. The other sweet potatoes, the orange ones are kind of sideways or all different ways, but I, these grow really easy and they're the, probably the easiest to harvest. Let's get the rest of these out. Ready, Molly? You gonna help me get some more out? So these potatoes are going to get us through the winter and part of the spring very easily. Look what I found hiding in the sweet potatoes. Little praying mantis. She looks cold. It's amazing all the cool things you find when you're in the garden. Okay. Last year when we were harvesting sweet potatoes, it was so funny. My granddaughter was standing in the box and she didn't have her shoes on. She's standing in the dirt and she's having a great time. And all of a sudden Molly jumped in and started digging. And she was right in Molly's way. She's talking and all the dirt went right in her face and her mouth. And it was so funny. We were cracking up. So I have two big bags of sweet potatoes. This one I think is strictly the Beauregard sweet potato. The most popular potato, I think, in the world. <laughs> I know in the United States. That purple one that I like, you find that in Hawaii. It grows wild. There's just hills of the purple sweet potatoes everywhere. Just a little note, the Boulevard sweet potato does better in the ground compared to the beds. I think the Jewel sweet potato and the Garnet, they do well in the beds and so the Molokai's do very well. This isn't the best one, but you will get more if you do plant them in the ground. This one looks like a cobra. <laughs> it's like a platypus. Come on, girl. Come on. All right, so now it's time to cure it because we want to turn the starches into sugars, and that's what's going to make our sweet potatoes sweet. Take your sweet potatoes, and you want to put them in a warm place. 80 to 85 degrees for anywhere from 10 to 14 days. You can go ahead and you know let them hang out at that. If you live in a climate that's pretty warm and humid, that's perfect. But for us now, it's getting colder. So I'll do the best that I can. I haven't had any problems. My sweet potatoes always have tasted fine. Maybe they can be a little sweeter if I had a more consistent temperature. A lot of people will get their potatoes and put them in like the plastic trays with the holes in them. You can get like one of those little space heaters, like those little buddies, and you can put them in there to get the temperature in your room warm. So this room in here, especially if we put our little stove on for us to take a shower, it'll warm it up in here. So I'm just gonna set them here in our learning center. I'm just gonna set them out. And then in a couple weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and put them down into cold storage, you know, like 60 degrees, 50, 60 degrees, down in our root cellar, okay? Or if you have a basement, that'll work too. So it started to rain. I have a few more potatoes that I need to get out, but I'll get them later. So I'll just lay all these out and then, um, we can hang out in here. Do you want in? Did you guys see Molly? She is like relentless trying to get that mouse. And she's a mess. And I don't even want to let her inside. She doesn't even look like the same dog anymore. 
And I can't reiterate this enough. Remember, if you are growing these sweet potatoes and you're taking the time to grow them, make sure that you are saving them for when you're going to plant them again in the spring. And then you're gonna pick your good ones that look healthy and wonderful, and that's what you're gonna to use to make your slips from. Time to wash my hands and let's make some sweet potato greens. All right, I'm putting some of my homemade grass-fed ghee. So I'm gonna put them in here. And just know you always start with a lot of greens because they're gonna cook down to barely nothing. Are the sheep are gonna get some greens today? And we're getting some greens today. We don't waste anything. have ever tried sweet potato greens before or even knew that you can eat them. I mean, this is a green that keeps on giving because when they start vining out and the sweet potatoes are growing, you know, I always say Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair because they grow and grow out of the beds. They look gorgeous and everyone just thinks they look so pretty and they don't do anything with them. So let's say something happened and something ate all of your, you know, lettuce and all of your kale and all your Swiss chard, you know, you got sweet potato greens. So you can survive on them if you needed to. It's a good survival food. <laughs> Generally, I saute these for about five minutes or so. Don't want to overcook them when they burn. Just so they're not really hard anymore. They're just kind of uh, limp and coated in the butter. Now the last thing is a little unrefined salt. I like the real salt by Redmond. I buy it in bulk and you guys can save money too. So we have a discount. So check out our Redmond link off with Doug and Stacey .com. Let's try them. Mmm, it is wonderful. So, if you're not doing it, eat your greens. So thanks for stopping by and, and hanging out with me while we talked about sweet potatoes from start to finish. And if you want to learn how to make the world's oldest bread, sweet potato flatbread, I have a really great video when we will put that in the comments below so you can check out that video too. Other than that, leave a comment and let me know what is your favorite sweet potato. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day and I will see you guys real soon. Bye. Did you have fun getting sweet potatoes today? You look like it. <laughs>